Hey, many families are still struggling with flood damage, and they're wondering how could our state help them? Right now, officials are asking you to report what you might be dealing with. Joining us now to talk about the state's emergency uh, response is Emergency Management Director William Turner. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, can you tell us why it's so important right now for people to really report the damage they have? Sure, thanks for having me. So the big thing is that in order for us to bring in any potential federal assistance, we have to tell FEMA, our partners at the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the extent of the impacts to see if thresholds are met for a potential major disaster declaration by the president. So we need that data to be able to tell the story. We know a lot of homeowners have damages, have lost belongings, businesses are impacted, farms, and we need to capture all that so we can paint that picture and make the case why we need help here in Connecticut from the federal government. So where can they report it? And ultimately, would this lead to some sort of money or reimbursement? So reporting is not a guarantee that aid or assistance will be provided. However, we do need the data to make the argument why we need it. Uh, so they can go to our uh, ct.gov backslash Demis, that's D-E-M-H-S, uh, and find a link for resident self-reporting to report losses to your business or residents. Uh, if homeowners also need assistance cleaning up, crisis cleanup is now live. Uh, crisiscleanup.org. Uh, they can go there and a voluntary agency will be assigned to them to help them if they need assistance cleaning up their property or their basement. So there's a lot of resources in place now that we're working to provide our residents knowing they need help now. But unfortunately, some of the, pr the procedures in place to get this federal aid does take time, but we're working as quickly as possible to get that data. And that's why it's so critical for residents to report. Okay. All right. So crisiscleanup.org. Of course, I'm sure we'll have this on WFSB.com. And right now, what is your team working on right now, just in these days after the flooding? Yeah, the big thing is still just getting out there and assessing the damages and the impacts. Uh, we're starting to get into some of the more uh, long-term recovery phase of emergency management, uh, really just trying to identify what are the unmet needs from the communities, from both businesses and homeowners, but also to our infrastructure, uh, to our roads, to our bridges. How are we going to fix things? How are we going to get roads open? Uh, we're really just diving into some of these more complex procedures. There's a lot of debris out there uh, that needs to be cleaned up. So we're really very much getting into that phase where we start to, to dig out and clean up and try to bring our communities back to normal as quickly as possible. Absolutely. It is a big job ahead. William Turner, Emergency Management Director for Connecticut. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. And my